What's up, guys? Your boy is back. He's back from the beach. He had a pretty awesome time. And uh, while I was at the beach, I had some pretty interesting things. First of all, COVID-19 says a lot of cool things can't happen, right? So the beach was open, luckily for me. And uh, so that's pretty much all we got to do is actually go to the beach. Like the water park was closed. Skate park was closed, although I jumped the fence and did get a good little five minute session in and you know, in courtesy of my wife's time. Otherwise I probably would have been there until they took me to jail. Which is okay. I would have I would have done it all for the cause. But anyways, while I was there, I did some I did a little bit of playing while I was there, but I did some theorizing about the IC that's coming up. So as you all know, by the way subscribe to my channel while we're going here hit a subscribe button I need some subscribers for the future world champion but hopefully the future world champion I have sites of world championship in my mind but if you haven't looked the May I see which is this weekend um, if you make 256 top 256 in your region you get to uh, go to this world championship and this is by official Pokemon so I made it the past two ICs so as long as I can make it this next one your boy will be going into the big boy tournament and I think they're doing that sometime in July slash August which also just happens to be around the time my baby will be born so if the tournament falls on the day of my child's birth or a few days after however long you know we're in the hospital your boy may just have to give his world championship up to someone else that God has planned to be the world champion. But, as long as God's timing is is keen to me, then your boy will be there. I'm going to wear these cool glasses the whole time, representing that your boy just got back from the beach. So, this is the team I will probably be taking to the IC. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. I'm feeling a whimsicott lead here, probably. What's, what's great here, um, I don't, other than my Lodic, I don't really like that. I think they're going to lead Whimsicott. Let's, let's go Grimmy, Grimmy Snarly, and I think Chari's already. I think that's what I want to do. I think that's a good lead. Chandelier is a little annoying. That's okay. Also... Rotom is a good start here, I think, overall. We're gonna bring the Rotom. Oh, I don't know. Do we bring Hitmontop? Do we bring. We might bring Hitmontop for this, right? Hitmontop doesn't look bad. Tyranitar doesn't look bad. Rotom Wash doesn't look that bad either. I think this is gonna be what we bring. I don't wanna bring Hitmontop because of my Lodic, and my Lodic's annoying. And Dracovish still hits like a, like a truck whether you intimidate it or not, so. I think Grimmsnarl will be good enough. He's got screens and faking out and he does all that good stuff. So we brought Grimmsnarl to presumably fake out the Whimsicott and take care of, you know, take care of business. Um, this is a choice Scarf Charizard so he might have to just find that out the hard way. I may just straight up Max Dragon. If he starts Dragovish, he might just get the Max Dragon right off the bat. I might not be playing no games. Ooh, okay. Chandelure and Obstagoon. Very interesting. So, I think we're gonna fake out Obstagoon. Do we do that? I think that's what we're gonna do. And, um. Is he defiant or is he something much worse? And oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I save the Max here. Let's see. Let's Dynamax. I think we'll just airstream. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Here, let's go Max Airstream. Let's airstream this boy. Let's get rid of this chandelier. Let's deal with him. We got the Maxi Boy going. So he's not switching out. Shiny Charizard gets the Max. We get an Airstream off. We hopefully will not die. 
and one shot of something. I'm not quite sure what this Obstagoon is carrying. We're gonna find out. <clears throat> we will also raise the speed of our boy here. He's gonna get the fake out. Kapow! Stop what you're doing. Wow, that hit pretty good. That did a pretty fair amount of damage. We're gonna airstream this boy. He's hurting. We're putting the hurt on him. Is he just gonna trick room? I have a feeling he might just trick room. Obscoon has flinched. He does go for the trick room. So that's a that's pretty whack, to be honest. I'm not liking that. Let's let's put up a Maybe we just attack the chandelier? I don't know. Maybe we spirit break the obstacle. I don't know. What do we do? Maybe we put up a wall. That's what I'm gonna do. And I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and wildfire the obstagoon here. What could he he probably won't switch in anything, will he? Even if he does, I think I want to go ahead and wildfire. Because I really want to get that that extra damage off. If he goes ally switch, I'll be real sad. <clears throat> he doesn't, so that's really good. I have a feeling he's gonna just expect a... Okay, we don't really care about Heat Wave too much. That's not that bad. And knock off. You knock off my Charizard's Choice Scarf. Good for you. It's useless to me. Anyway. You've actually made it better for me when I'm not Dynamax. Alright! We're burning boys. That should hurt you. Yeah, it takes you out, actually. Perfect. No more knockoff for you, buddy. Perfect. We might go ahead and put up a sc another screen with Grim Snarl. And I don't know what item this Dracovish may have. Wait, we, we did physical. Maybe we just go ahead and... Mm, I don't know. Maybe we just go ahead and put up a special wall too, just to eliminate a little bit of damage from things. And hmm, question is, is that a choice scarf, or Dracovish? Hey, I don't, I don't think he's going to target the Charizard here. I think he's going to presume that I'm going to just, uh, you know, let him do what he wants. So let's go ahead and try to airstream this boy. He goes Fish's Ren. Okay, cool. We actually get our... Woo, we live it too. Heat Wave comes off. So our Max Dragon is about to slap that boy. Lower his attack too. Yay. He was not... Ex See, I'm carrying the Worm Wind on this. Not many people expect that. As you can see. He was not expecting it. If this was a best 2 out of 3 though... We would have just revealed our entire set except for Protect. But he actually did us a favor knocking off our Choice Scarf because... Oh, what, what could he go into here? I don't remember what he could have. I feel like Tyranitar is the thing to go into because he's slow. And we're under this, this foolish uh, trick room right now. So let's bring a slow boy in. Pull up the sand, get some passive damage off. I think we know what he's going to do. Dragapult. He kind of wrecked himself by trick rooming, I think. I really do. Because we all know Dragapult is super fast. Um, we're just going to rock slide. And I'm going to Dragon Pulse this uh, Dragapult here. He should be going last with Dragapult. He's got to max the Draggy. The Draggy Pulty. We're not scared of that. Come on, as, as long as Tyranitar is slower than Chandelure here, which it could be, it's it's like a minimal speed. It's a perfect IV in speed, but zero uh, in, investment there. It's a big boy dragon. He's Poulton. We ain't scared. He's screaming, but we ain't scared. He, he's really about to be screaming. We get our rock slide off. Takes out Chandelure. Get a little bit of poke on the Dragapult. This has gone very well for us. If you're wondering why... Oh, okay. Apparently our Charizard is a bit slower. Or faster in that case. 
this must be a minimal speed um, boy here because I know even after one speed boost max speed Charizard does not outspeed Dragapult. He must be a minimal speed which is okay. We're gonna get a lot of poke on him. And now we know Rotom has definitely got to be slower. He's put himself in a terrible bind by Trick Room. We kind of I just want to take a moment to thank him for Trick Rooming. He still has one turn of Trick Room to try to go through, and he might just protect here, which is okay. I'm not, I'm not that sad about that. Do we call out the protect and just nasty plot? Maybe so. Maybe so. I think we do. Yeah. We're just going to presume that he will do that. And I'm going to nasty plot. And maybe I should have just doubled up into it. Maybe he's not thinking that hard. Maybe he's just attack, attack, attack. He did trick room for us. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh, he did not protect. That's very, very strange to me. Should have just attacked with the Dark Pulse, but that's okay. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. What's he going for? Phantasm? Into Rotom. Rotom, you take it like a champ, boy. You take it like a champ. So we get another hit of sand and burn. Which is great. That secondary effect of Max Wildfire is beautiful. It really is. Look at that. Ooh, you're dead next turn, buddy. The dimensions have returned to normal. Honestly, I think nasty plotting there was still my smartest bet. Because it covered the option of him protecting. And he was pretty much done for. He pretty much is done for. He can't really do anything. He's going to kill my Rotom. I'm okay with that. And T-Tar gets his attack lowered again. He don't care. Because he's going to finish the job up right. Or he just kills himself, actually, because he's life orb. <coughs> Thank you. So he was getting pegged by Life Orb, Sand, and Max Wildfire. I defeated Kyle. He's probably going to go punch a hole in his drywall now. He's going to chug a monster and punch a hole in the wall. Look at him. He looks like a Kyle, too. Sorry, Kyle. You just weren't ready for that one. That's okay. We're not always ready for things like that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what Kyle had going on here. A Moringa Berry. What the heck? What does that do? It will increase the holder's special defense if it's hit with a special move. That's not that good, I wouldn't say. We will continue the battle. So I went Choice Scarf Charizard because I want to be able to surprise people in the IC that are running Venusaur, like, you know, the Chlorophyll Venusaur, or they're running the uh, Durant, for instance. So I can just not max against the Durant and oh boy this boy is all watered out Charizard don't look so good here guys what do we want to do against this obviously that's not the greatest for us a lot of that stuff there um Grim Snarl will be great here I think Rotom is good against everything except for the Ludicolo. This is like kind of a like we have a lot of weaknesses to this. And he's just a bunch of water stuff. So I think Rotom is the good choice here against everything except for the Seismitoad. So it just depends on what he leads. And Hitmon Top will probably be good here, I think. I don't really want to bring Charizard. Tyranitar, we need Tyranitar for weather setting. Because we don't want him to get away with just having free reign. We might want to sand it up a bit. Charizard was a little scary, guys. I don't know. Although he does have Max, uh, max Airstream for the Ludicolo. <clears throat> which he's weak to. Maybe I should have led Ndidi Charizard, maybe. 
Doesn't seem that. Ooh, okay, so he goes for a more passive lead, and I'm okay with that. So, what can he do? He can switch Pilliper. He may just switch Pilliper straight into Seismitoad to try to absorb a lightning. He could do that. I'm not totally against that. Um, I think we're gonna set up a light screen. Or. We can go ahead and start spirit breaking. I think a light screen is the way to start out though. Just to cover. That's the safest play I think. <clears throat> and maybe we just nasty plot. But at the same time. I kind of want to go ahead and. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Let's do that. And let's switch into Tyranitar. That's what we're doing right here. He ain't ready. Let's see what you got, boy. He's probably gonna max Lapras. Something tells me he's gonna double into uh, Grimmsnarl here. He might go Hurricane and wish he didn't, because he's gonna miss it now. Well, he has a good chance of missing it, because the rain's gone. So, ah, uh, what do you know? The Lapras. That's surprising. I never saw it coming. Um, although he's got a lot of moves that are pretty obvious here, it doesn't make it easy for us because we're... Rain sucks to go against. Okay, it's a Water Absorb Lapras. This was, this is uh, things that... Okay, he triggers my weakness policy on Tarmantar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That makes me happy. Now, what does Lapras do? I'm imagining Resonance. It's very smart of you. Okay, he goes into Grimmsnarl. Wow, he must have crit. That has to be a critical hit. Has to be. It is. You're lucky. Very lucky. We all get lucky, though. It's okay. So, we're going to probably back out Grimmsnarl here. I know that seems weird, but um, let's pull Rotom back out. I think he's gonna try to just let Grimmsnarl die by um, by trial. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and max guard, try to block his one of his last Dynamax moves that'll leave him with one more, forcing him to do water. If he goes water into Tyranitar, that is. Which I feel like he would. You want your weather back. And you want to kill a Tyranitar. You just proc the weakness policy on And you feel really bad about doing that. So. That's kind of the ideal way to go. The water absorb Lapras. That's a little annoying. No he's going to surf again. I would guess. Max guard boy. Yep there's the surf. That's fine. He was probably expecting that to clean up Grimmsnarl. Rotom should take this fairly well. He does. He, he doesn't have the highest HP base, but okay. We blocked the geyser. Woo! Things are going fairly well. Anyway. I'm not super happy with it, but hey. What can I say? Um, We're going to go ahead and Thunderbolt that. And I think we're going to go ahead and max rock follow it as well. This slot. Maybe that's what we do. I, I, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Thunderbolt goes off. That's good. Okay, we just straight up killed the Pilliper. That is even better. Except now our rock fall is going to slap into Lapras and probably going to proc a weakness policy. So this could either be really great or really bad for us. Let's find out. It's actually not bad at all. We do proc that policy. That's not really that ideal. But. Okay. Come on, my boy. This is like a normal hit. This is like a normal hit for us. Because we got a screen up as well. So Tyranitar tanks it like a champion. Like a true champion. I'm very proud of my boy. 
I ain't never seen my boy. My boy just handles it like that. Who's this? Oh, okay. We don't like that. We don't like that. Let's, uh... That's an issue. Let's try to pop off this Dragovish. We're gonna go ahead and max guard again. Because we're gonna die if we don't. And then we're gonna probably swap Titar out. Yep, we would have died right there. There's no way we would have took that hit. We're gonna get a Thunderbolt off. We should have just went into Lapis, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get the Paralysis. That would be awesome. We don't. Freeze dry. Uh, your moves are weak, bro. See? Weak. Now we're in a safe spot again. You're probably thinking like, how are we in a safe spot? I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you how safe of a spot we're in. We're so safe that we're going to bring Grimmsnarl back out. And he's going to get the fake out. He's not ready for the fake out, guys. He's not. We're going to fake out the Dracovish. Dracovish is going to be like, I can't do nothing because I'm I've been faked. He's a phony. And uh, we're just gonna rock slide this boy, and hopefully hit, we hit both of them and kill him. That's our best bet here. He's a phony. Rock slide hits both. Perfect. It should be a double KO, and it is. Very nice. Very nice. So. Uh, so far, I'm still tweaking this team, guys. I don't know. There might be some a few changes. Um, I can't find something that I quite don't like about it yet. But, um... That's what we're working on here. Uh... I think we're just gonna pull out Hitmontop. And we're gonna protect. So we can get another fake out. We're basically bouncing fake outs now. The intimidate doesn't matter too much here. So when I find some things I don't like about this team, I'll, I'll probably do some changing around. But he goes energy ball. Ooh, calls me out. That's okay. Him on top takes it. He's a boy. He can take it. And let's go for a crunch. I think is what we want to do here. To get the highest stab possible and also not chance like missing our move he really should have just went protect there I don't care that he didn't because that's his loss and that's what you get boy a critical hit too I don't think we needed it but we got it there's the game guys so we're gonna do one more that was actually a uh, sh more stressful game for me although you can't see it because uh, I got my poker face on but if you could see my eyes, there were tears rolling down. I was so scared. Your boy was scared. Alright, we're moving on up a little bit here. Our team's doing great. Uh, I have only lost maybe three games with this team. Out of like, maybe ten now. So it's got about a 70% win rate for me so far. Although I have tweaked it a little along the way. I was trying to use a Hitmon Lee too originally, and as you can see, he got swapped for Hitmon Top. Swap for the top. Okay. What's this guy trying? What's this guy trying? Grimmsnarl looks like a, a, another great lead for us, honestly. Grimmsnarl, Charizard, both look great here. Honestly, in DD, Charizard looked really good. I may just do that, to be real. Yeah, I think I will. But at the same time, I might need that fake out, you know what I'm saying? Let's go in DD and Charizard. Uh, we might not just go fake out. We're going to bring T-Tar for weather things and whatnot. And uh, Hitmontop might be good to still bring, although... Maybe, maybe Grimmsnarl, uh, I don't know. I think Grimmsnarl is still a good, good bring. Because uh, we can still change terrain a little bit. 
or should we bring the top? We're gonna bring the snarl. The grimy snarl. The snarly grim. We ain't scared. So we'll see how things go for us here. This is the lead I feel should be taken. And we get to feature in DD, not that you don't know what that does, but it's there for a reason, and it's for matchups you don't quite really know what's gonna happen. So we kinda know what I wanna do here. I kinda wanna just max flare that Whimsicott and take care of it before it does too many annoying things. So, or we could focus out the Hydreigon and uh, just straight up dragon this guy. Max dragon this boy right away. Um, he might be thinking I'm gonna follow me and I might just go ahead what is this? maybe I just go ahead and wildfire, I don't know I think I'm gonna go for helping hand and max a dragon into high dragon that's what I'm gonna do because I think he's just going to tailwind and uh, just be all shenanigan like. Because I'm trying to think, like, Hydreigon will probably just go max darkness into Ndidi, or he might have put it onto Charizard, um, expecting a redirection. And I think Charizard can take that. I think he can. I believe in him. That's a good, that's a good sign. We're faster before the tailwind. We're about to find out that he's going to tell when he's just faster, which is okay. That's okay. This is a hard read play. This is a, roll, a, high, a high roll play here. If we get it right, we pretty much win. If we don't, we might just pretty much lose. We're going to find out. Sometimes I'm a high roller. I got my poker face on. He can't see what I'm thinking. Look at him. I knew that. I already told you that was happening. He does go max darkness. Into Ndidi. Perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. And that's how you call your cards right. He can draw my special defense. That's okay. That is okay. That's A-OK. -okay. He does not expect this, though. Is what I'm saying. And he actually still lives that. That has to be an AV. That's an AV boy right there. So... I think maybe we just bring in the Grim Snarl now. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bring him in, and we're gonna we're gonna put up a shield. We're gonna put a shield up. Now is the time to shield. We want to shield special attacks, and we're gonna go ahead and wildfire. We're gonna wildfire the Windicott. May have been the play we should have made to begin with. He goes fake tears. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What about Psychic Train? I thought that stopped taunt garbage. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We learning the hard way today, boy. Live it, Charizard. Live it. My boy lives it. I'm proud of my boy. He dropped my special defense again. I'm minus four special defense, y'all. I don't see my boy living that. Bye bye, buddy. Bye bye. You did good now. Um, so the fire will clean that boy up. Bye. Which I'm totally happy about. Totally happy about. I'm probably gonna max guard Charizard. Uh, hoping he's gonna go into Charizard again. He probably won't though, I really don't feel like he will. And uh, it's a little scary here. I don't know what to do here. I feel like I just want to spirit break that Hydreigon. Do I risk it? Totally risk it for this Charizard? I don't think we do, I think, no we don't want to do that. We want to max guard. I think max guarding is the play for days right here 
We're doing it. Because once we get out of Dynamax, we'll be Choice Scarf and we will be faster. And we're about to die because that's going to really hurt. Yeah. So, that's not ideal. At all. But I think it's still good with Guarded Charizard. Because Seismitoad is still probably faster because of the fact that he's under Tailwind. We get a little bit more damage off. That's great. That's really great. And we get to bring out our Tyranitar. Who is now the boy of boys. Um, now my next play is a good question. To think it out, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you. I would presume that I should just rock slide with uh, this boy. I think that's the play. Or... I gotta deal with that Seismitoad. Like, it has to be dealt with. I may just do that. Ooh, I don't know. Heat wave's just not a good move here. Um. Let's do this. Just crunch. And. And air slash. He withdraws Hot Dragon. He's scared of the Tyranitar for some reason. Oh, he wants to set some water up. He wants to be fast boy. He wants to be a fast boy. But little does he know I'm a choice Scarf Charizard. I'm still faster. Wait, what? What's this boy's base speed? What's this boy doing? Critical hit on Tyranitar. Well, that's really disappointing. I have to say. So he was a life orb, Seismitoad. What is this boy's speed? What is this boy's speed? I have to see this. That doesn't make any sense to me. I have made a terrible miscalculation. Oh, duh! It's because he was under Tailwind. And... He also had his, uh... His water jump. The swift swim. I lost because I didn't think about that. I should have went for the protect. Well, what do you know? What can you do, right? So, all I learned there was indeed didn't do the deed. Deed. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my team. You got to whoop some booty and do its thing. If you enjoyed the video, shoot me a like, comment, and a sub down there below. And uh, I'll see you guys at the IC. I'm sure I'll get another video out before this weekend, but I'll be posting some videos of the IC as well. And how my team does. And hopefully we'll be at the World Championship when it's all said and done. God bless. Peace, my boys. We'll see you next time.